Well, hello there, you guys. I have two mini baskets filled with everything I've been loving. I think I'm gonna call this like, I don't know, curation of my glow up must haves. Most of these are actually very affordable. None of these, none of these are sponsored. Walang ni isang nagbayad sa akin dito, okay? I was thinking of a video idea. What can I upload that is like beneficial, you know, can help out my girlies out there? I finally got this idea. What if I share with you guys like my glow up kikai must haves? I mean, not to brag, but lately I have been validated by you guys. Thank you so much. Hindi naman po sana, pero thank you. Thank you naman. So, mga nagasabing, nag-iipa na naman ang mukha niya. Hindi na niya kamukha. Like, hindi ko naman kayo makakaila kasi talaga nag-glow up naman ako. Like, malala naman talaga yung pinagbago. Pero, aside from Luminous, ang magaling lang talaga ako mag-makeup and I'd like to think magaling akong mag-alaga ng sarili ko. Okay? So, as always, I'm gonna be linking all of the products I'll be going through in today's video sa description box. I just wanna remind you, kahit na nilatag ko lahat ng mga items ito, you don't need all of these, okay? Pretty girlies, listen to me. Needs muna tayo bago ang wants. And then, of course, if you have the extra budget or if you're looking for new products to try, then that's when you buy. But don't forget to shop responsibly. I'm just sharing my knowledge and the products I've been using to you guys to hopefully help some of you guys out. Let us start off with body care. Ito gusto ko lang talaga i-mention kasi I've been using these for years, guys. I don't use a lot of, like, body scrubs. I use an actual physical scrub. I actually hoarded these sa Lazada two years ago and di pa rin ubos yung akin. This is actually originated sa Korea and sa Japan. Sobrang uso sa kanila yung mga body scrubs and skin cloths like this. And the crazy thing is, I've seen these being sold in Japan for a lot more expensive of a price. Like, they were being sold for 500 pesos above. And I remembered, ito yung ginagamit ko exactly. Eh, na nabili ko sa Lazada for like less than 100 pesos. The girl is already demonstrating how this is supposed to be used. Sige, mag-open tayo. Literal na cloth siya. And pag binasa mo to ng tubig, malalambot siya. And this is what I use to like scrub my skin whenever I take a bath. And it's been super effective for me. I used to have like really intense chicken skin here. I don't know how I got that. Now, as I'm touching my skin, it has gotten so much better as in, pawala na yung chicken skin ko, guys. And na-realize ko, ito lang naman yung lagi kong ginagamit. Alam mo yung nakaligtaan ko siyang i-share sa vlog, pero this is such a big help for me kasi ito yung ginagamit kong exfoliator everyday. It's gentle enough, but it's also effective enough. This is one of those skincare hacks. It like exfoliates. It cleans my body so well. I've also noticed because it cleans so well, I've had less body odor. And this one cloth will last me for months. Like, let me tell you, sobrang tipid siya, mura siya, and effective siya. So, and then sa mga nagtatanong ng lotion ko, the Myra classic whitening vitamin lotion yung ginagamit ko lately. Abang ko siya, it's fast absorbing and I really have been loving it. I've worked with them and gumana talaga to sa akin. I'm not sponsored to say this right now, okay? But gumana talaga to sa akin and I have been really enjoying it kasi hindi siya malagkit eh. It's not super thick in consistency. It's actually a bit more watery and mabilis lang siya i-absorb. I would even apply this on like the back of my hands kasi ito yung isa sa mga areas na mabilis talaga mag-age. Also like applying that sa gabi. This Dove Biokeratin Straight and Silky 1 Minute Conditioner is good stuff. I've completely finished a bottle and may kwento ko dito. Nagbabadminton kami once ni King Z. Tapos may lumabas na girl and alam mo yung nostalgia. As in, sobrang nostalgia. Ang bango niya, alam mo yung parang bagong ligo amoy na ang lakas ng amoy ng shampoo niya. Na for sure, yun yung amoy natin, yung kabataan natin. Kasi ngayon, yung ginagamit kong shampoo brand is like an herbal brand. Again, trying to aid with my hair fall and stuff. I've been using this Korean brand shampoo that smells herbal. When I smell the girl, like, medyo naingit ako. Like, gusto ko mag-amoy ganun. Yung amoy bagong ligo, guys. For sure, alam niyo yung tinutukoy ko. That amoy bagong ligo, ang bango. Like, Screaming Rejoice, Pantene, Palmolive, Dove. One of those brands. Literally, the next day, we ran to the supermarket. We picked out a bunch of these brands. Like, Palmolive, Rejoice, bumili ako. A chance upon this Dove conditioner. And girl, maganda siya. This one truly works. I feel like my hair is actually straighter. When I use this, di ko na kailangan magplan siya ng buhok. My hair is actually naturally wavy. Notice my hair just looks straighter. My hair feels so soft with this one. And it's probably available sa near supermarkets nyo. Pero ililink ko na rin siya kasi for sure nasa Lazada naman yan. If you're not following me on Instagram, which you should, because dun ako parang mas intimate, I think. So nag-update ako na I ha recently had this bald spot. I'll share it with you guys. This one. This is my bald spot. I've never had a bald spot in my entire life. Not until last month. I noticed it. I think it's a combination of pagsusuot ko ng wig sa totoo lang kasi the stress, you know what I mean? And also, nagbabangos kasi ako. I mean, it's grown out now, pero I think that also resulted to me having a bald spot. Now, I'm on an entire hair journey as in I'm trying to grow my hair talaga to the healthiest state. I'm avoiding like all colored hair products. Sobrang desperado ko. Gusto ko talaga 
i-grow back yung hair ko. But just so you know, I am also dealing with like hair loss right now. And guys, kung meron pala kayo mga tips on how I can kind of help speed up my hair growth process, I would appreciate that. But I have been trying out products here and there. Like to see kung ano man yung makakatulong. So far, really liking the results. Ang dami kong bagong baby hair. As in, nagugulat din ako na siya at meron akong mga bagong tumutubo. Medyo ako lala. May time talaga na every time ginaganong yung buhok ko. Kita nyo na yung scalp ko dyan. And now, parang may border na siya. Ayan, no? hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo. For me, talaga malaking difference. Ito yung isa sa mga pinakaginagamit ko. Actually, paubos ko na siya. This is from Med All. It's their hair tonic. Now, don't quote me on this. I don't know for sure if ito yung talaga pinaka nakakapagpa baby hair sa akin and hair growth sa akin. But this is an anti-hair loss tonic. So refreshing on the scalp. I would just apply it and then kind of like rub it. Hindi pa ako nakapag-apply ngayon. So, natutuwa lang ako kasi less spots na yung buhok ko eh. Kahit sa side. So, I feel like I'm doing something right. So refreshing. Almost like has a minty sensation. Super light on the scalp. And thankfully, it's not oily. I tried to oil it oil and I had to stop because I couldn't handle like the bajo and the oily feeling I got from it. So, ito yung mas ginagamit ko ngayon. And I'm super consistent with it as in every single day, at least twice a day. I feel like with every or any product that you're using, in terms of trying to grow your hair, you really need to be consistent. Kasi yun yung problema ko before. Hindi ko siya consistent. So, ngayon talaga, walang skip na araw. Every single day, twice a day, morning and night. I will keep using it until at least December. Tapos, babalikan ko kayo again by then. But so far, so good. Ang dami ko na try na gamot for the hair na ang baho na hindi ko kinahaya kasi literal umaalingasaw. As in, sis umaalingasaw talaga na feeling ko na aamoy ng katabi ko. Siyempre, gusto ko naman kahit na nag-apply ako ng gamot, hindi naman yung parang nakakasuka yung amoy. This one, kahit na herbal siya, it doesn't smell so bad. Mabilis din siya matuyo. So, I highly recommend that. Okay, ito na lang. I'm just gonna be really quick on this one. I've mentioned this in so many videos as well and like stories. But if you're looking for a deodorant, a reliable deodorant, I like this Jeju Berry White one from LTS. Mabilis lang siya maubos. But it's also really affordable. So, I mean, good news. Hindi ito nakakaitin ng kilikili and nakakontrol niya yung odor so as in kahit always ka talaga okay siya hindi ko naman napansin na pumuti necessarily yung kilikili ko so I don't really know with the whitening claims of this but sabi niya kasi intensive whitening but at least hindi umitim yung kilikili and that's really what I need like ayoko na umitim yung kilikili ko from like the harsh ingredients from other deos you know like every time I add this to my cart I usually buy it in pens kasi I cannot run out of this this is such a lifesaver for me kapag pinapawisan now if you wanna smell yummy okay then <laughs> I like this one. It's either this one or the Christine Duhalier Vanilla, but sometimes that's sold out because this is like the exact same thing. This is Bella Vanilla from Baby Doll Korea, and it smells like that vanilla, that yummy, delicious baby vanilla that's literally to make you smell like a snack like it makes you smell like the most expensive baby like vanilla ever for it being a body mist slash cologne matagal naman to naglala sa skin ko for at least like three hours now moving on to oil cleanser i think i found my favorite one yet in my last favorites video i mentioned the dhc one akala ko yun ay pinakamaganda but guys mas maganda pala tong anua heart leaf pore control Cleansing oil. Tipid gamitin. Super light on the skin. It's even lighter than the DHC one. So, kung takot kayo mag-oil cleanser, kung bago pa lang kayo sa oil cleansing, this one magugustuhan nyo. Kasi it doesn't feel super thick and super oily. Some oil cleansers I do find can be really thick on the skin to the point na ang uncomfortable na niya pag may massage mo sa skin. I don't feel like that with this one. So when it's in contact with water, it get emulsify ba tawag doon? Basta nagiging milk siya and then it really just removes everything. I don't feel like it's shipping my skin off and kapag natapos ko na siyang banlawan, ang clean ng skin ko without it feeling stripped, super dry. It actually still feels moisturized and medyo pa chalk chalk effect. So I really like this. These are some Japanese skincare that I think are worth your money. They're affordable and they work. Kung nagkahanap kayo ng pimple cream, guys, pangalawa ko na tong pair na pimple cream. Actually, may pimple ako dyan eh. Pero girl, sobrang bilis ito maka-dry ng pimple. I am not even kidding. Super effective and it's gentle on the skin. Ever since I discovered this, ang tinira ko nilang sa stash ko, ito tsaka yung Oxycure kasi yung dalawa yung gumagana for me. The rest of my pimple solutions, I pretty much threw away kasi this one actually is very effective for me. If you're experiencing an even skin tone, dark marks, this one, the Roto CC Milano, I highly recommend them. I use both variants. Actually, I can't really tell the difference to be honest. But this is the original one. It's just like a premium version. So I'm gonna link both variants for you guys. No fuss, no frills, effective. It's effective. As in, 
three, four days lang religiously applying, makikita mo na talaga nag-lighten yung mga acne marks. Kung marami ako mga acne marks, especially on my chin area, even like here. And so far, ang bilis lang talaga nilang maka-even out. Kung kailangan yun ng vitamin C serum, ito lang yung may recommend ko sa patna. Hindi yun na kailangan ng mas mamahaling vitamin C. I'm gonna go through some of my makeup must-haves lately for brushes. Marami na nagtatanong sa akin about brushes. I wanted to refresh you guys. If you're looking for like a liquid foundation brush, I do really like this. This is like 100 pesos. Got it from Lazada. It's pretty soft and it's dense enough to where it can like really build up your foundation. It can like blend it really well, spread it. I like the shape because it's pretty big, it's oval, it's, it's pretty dense but it does provide you with like an even smooth foundation application or even like for bases like skin tints, okay na okay siya. The Jelly and the Vice collaboration. I use this brush specifically for cream blushes because I like how it's very precise. It's an ideal shape for an under eye cream blush brush. Good quality and of course really affordable. Flat brushes to apply your foundation with. Either of these work. Perfect na perfect shot to spread out your foundation really evenly. If you want to start with a thin layer with your foundation or base, just spread it using this brush evenly. I mean, like viral na Laura Mercier na foundation. The brush that went viral also, similar to this one, it's a paddle shape, tapos thin pa siya. So imagine yung area na cover niya. It covers a wide surface area, which is why I like this. Another option is this one. This is highly used by Korean makeup artists. It also lets you spread out your foundation or your base products in an even thin layer. So I'm gonna link both, but either of these are super nice. My pink Jisoo Life fan is absolutely worth it. Dati hindi ko makuha yung hype. Sabi ko, ito na yun. Like, 1,000 pesos. Pero I like that you can control the settings kasi guys, not only did I bring this with me during my Japan trip and nagamit ko talaga siya buong araw. In fairness, matagal siyang malobat. As in, it, this can last me like two full days without me having to charge it. And the weather in Japan is pretty crazy hot right now. This one, ang laking tulong niya sa akin. Super helpful also in my beauty routine. Papatuyo niya yung aking setting mist. 7% lang yun. Kabog siya. Anti-purpose. Hindi ko lang siya nagamit for travel. So, nagamit ko rin siya every time nagpapatuyo ako ng moisturizer, sunscreen, or ng makeup setting mists. Hilingal ako dun, sis. Bumaba ako kasi kinuha ko yung fixed chocolate ko from Dubai. It's a canafe pistachio chocolate. Alam nyo ba, guys? Ilang araw ko nang pinapangarap makakain ulit ng chocolate na yun kasi yun yung isa sa mga pinakamasarap na nakain ko. As in, I cannot wait to finish this video to like eat that. Where were we? Okay, makeup products. The tear tear cushion. This is beautiful. Kung halap niyo yung full coverage, super long lasting. Ito na lang yung kahit na matapos ka mag-gym, andyan pa rin yung makeup mo. Kung gusto mo ng ganun, the tear tear cushion is well worth your money. It's actually worth the hype. I'm in the shade 17C, although meron din ako ng 13C, okay din naman yun. Very well loved siya. Sinisimot ko na lang yan, as in like, pinipiga ko na yun to the last bit. I really like this cushion so, so much because of its longevity and coverage. I'm opting for like a no makeup makeup look. I can skip concealer and just use this cushion and I'd still be really happy with how my base looks. It is a bit more on the matte side, so don't forget to moisturize lang kayo and mag skin prep kayo para hindi siya ba muumuo kasi I've heard I've seen some comments saying na this is drying daw if you skin prep well enough and if you don't apply too too much at once with this cushion the best way I found to apply it is with the cushion puff and in thin layers guys kuha konti and then binagblot ko muna siya here and then I just get the right amount if I need more of the coverage dun ko siya binibuild up hindi ko siya tinatapal in one thick layer agad agad kasi doon mas prone talaga to caking and for it to look na mumuumuo so it's better to work in thin layers with this one there's like a certain trick on how you can make this look flawless if you do make it work it looks flawless and for a really long time another base product that really captured my heart is the first base from Color It my shade is Bon Bon and you guys this is the true definition the peak true definition of a skin tint for me that has been released in the local scene now don't get me wrong I love the Issy Active skin tint the BLK skin tint I also really like but in terms of like the shade range this got my shade to the T as somebody with really fair skin I'm very hard to match. Guys, ang dami kong mga base products foundations that I had to ditch and not use. And hindi ko na-appreciate because the shade was just off. 
even like the undertone and the shade was off this brand got my shade to the t that's a huge thing for me so i can confidently recommend this to you guys if you have fair skin if you've been keen to try out like a local base product but nothing seemed to match you perfectly you might have a better chance with the color at first base as for the formula it's matte medium coverage right off the bat but you can definitely build this up spf 30 what you can do mag sunscreen muna kayo bago nyo to i-apply this is also very long lasting you can get like a full six to seven hours wear out of this and the wear it still looks good ha but it's a pang skin tint guys and it's well worth the money so impressed by this the quality can rival international brands guys kung wala pa kayo to ruby cell puff na recommend ko on ig girl ma 100 pesos lang to pero swear yung makeup ko ang flawless always kasi ito yung gamit ko pang blend so first ginagamit ko tong brush to like stipple my foundation blend it out and then just for that extra blend and for that extra airbrushed finish go over everything with this puff. And ever since I discovered this, I've never looked back. I used beauty blender. Ito na lang ko. This is reusable, of course, and washable. This one in particular, the one I'm gonna link, I like it because it's not stiff. You can it You can bend it. Use it to blend out your under eyes. You know, it can reach like the sides of your nose. Thick enough to where it bounces really nice and gently on the skin. Any liquid products like foundations man or concealers. Such a game changer in my makeup routine. Streak-free airbrush goodness with this 100 peso makeup tool. From Romand, when they released this, I quickly added this to my cart and bought it immediately kasi ang tagal ko na nagkahanap ng ganito, a full-on contour and highlighter palette. Rather than contour in 02 gray cool, you can just mix the colors and create the perfect bronzer shade. It's not just exclusively for contour. You can also bronze with this kasi hindi naman siya sobrang gray. You have your neutral colors in light, medium, and deep, and you have your highlight slash volumer color to add more light on specific areas of your face. I sometimes use this here para lang to lift some areas and also here. I mix mix ko lang naman yung shades niyan to just really shadow my nose. The most perfect contour palette because you have everything right here plus the volumer which helps highlight and accentuate your nose even more. I mentioned I did like my Kaleidos contour palette but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative that has more color options actually, powder formula is beautiful, buildable formula. It's not too harsh. This is actually very beginner friendly. I like, I just like the variety. Perfect din yung undertone niya. Mukhang natural yung nose. It doesn't make my nose look overdone because I've had other contour products na pag binabalikan ko yung pictures ko ay medyo shit halatang, halatang kinontour ko yung nose ko. This one looks a bit more natural in my opinion. I like these happy skin blushes. There I say they're the most beautiful formulas of a powder blush I've seen in the local scene. Now, if you're looking for a more high-end feeling blush, ito na yun si Happy Skin. These are their soft matte powder blushes. I like all the shades, but I'm holding natural blush and petal glow. Actually wearing the both of them mixed lang. Parang dinust ko lang sila talaga carelessly onto my cheeks and somehow my makeup looks put together and these are the most effortless blushes i've encountered in the local beauty scene absolutely beautiful formula it's very buildable it's not too pigmented off the bat but the pigment isn't lacking don't get me wrong it's just they're very soft they're not powdery they feel so luxurious they feel high-end it creates the most beautiful diffused blush look and trust me you guys i've tried over like a thousand blushes at this point so i know my blushes and i can definitely differentiate a good superior quality blush to like you know a more mediocre normal quality blush this one is above and beyond maganda ang quality and the shades talaga you cannot really go wrong with the shades pag di mo alam yung blush na isusuot mo just throw in one of these blushes and you will look so good you don't even have to think about it just throw it on and you will look so good and then the cream counterpart we have here from strokes yung kanilang crush blushes i think yeah, the crush blushes. I love virgin. I love ladylike. Luxurious formula. Really just cannot go wrong. This was the only blush I brought with me to Japan. I didn't even have to set it with like a powder blush. You know how some people would use cream blush first and then powder blush? Ito lang ating blush din lang sa Japan. They're so creamy. They're so easy to blend. They're pigmented. But at the same time, they're not too much. You know what I mean? Basically, lahat ng hinihiling yung sa isang cream blush and dito na. And these shades are actually not the typical, you know, bright pink that we see, bright corals. These are more desaturated and natural looking. So again, very right up my alley. Even double these up as my lip colors as well because they're 
a bit on the paler side. That's exactly what I like in my makeup looks. A bit more pale and yung parang medyo milky, creamy. These are some milky, creamy blushes to add to your collection. My runner-up would be the Vice Co. Do-It-All blushes. I decorated mine. I like the selection of the colors and I like that these are dewy. I do prefer wearing them when I am not wearing like a full face of makeup. As in yung tipo, my gym look or like my everyday freckly look as in peeking through pa yung skin. These look better with like a light base type of a look because they are dewy. Blendable naman and very easy to work with for like a liquid blush. I prefer these over the Sunny's Face blushes for sure. I like the tones, the different colors that you can get. Meron pa silang corals, they have reds, they have like mauves and pinks but yeah, you get these like really pretty everyday shades. I also use some of these shades as my lip colors and they work perfectly. These are drying on the lips kasi nga meron silang mas dewy, mas reflective, mas dewy yung formula nila. And can you believe these are like 245 each? So I'd say go for it. More Viasco products I want to commend. My lip liner right now is their lip liner in the shade Last Kiss. I absolutely love this. And they release a bunch of other shades. This color is just incredible on my lips. It's basically my lips but better. Wala talaga akong issues sa formula. Meron ka pang playtime to kind of soften it a bit and blend it out. But once it sets, it's gonna stay there for a really long time. It's long lasting. The shade selection is amazing for fair medium. To deep skin tones, meron kang options. This is a solid lip liner from Vice Co. 195 pesos and it's always on sale. I know a lot of you are gonna ask, Ate, what is that on your Egyosal? These are my favorite sweet mint pens that are so affordable. But guys, ang ganda nito. Like, these have become a staple in my makeup routine. Kapag wala akong Egyosal and kapag di ko to ginagamit, parang I feel incomplete. Incomplete? No, really. These ones have changed and leveled up my makeup game. Maganda kasi yung pigment eh. This is the Shining Shimmering number 4. Are you seeing how reflective and delicious that is? It's so sparkly, so reflective, so beautiful. And then, if you want like a matte option, meron din yung parang pinky shade. So, depends na lang sa preference mo. I like both. Depends where the looks eh. If I want like a lighter, more natural look, I would go for this. If I want like a more intense look, I would go for this. So, last so long on my eyes, parang full day to, andyan pa rin yung shimmer sa eyes ko. This makes my eyes pop. And this just makes any eye look come to life, basically. Nabubuo niya kasi yung makeup look ko eh. Then my favorite lip releases for the year, one is dewy and one is more matte. So, let's start with the matte one. This is Vice Soft Veil Tint. And my favorite shades are Pinker Bell and no bang is uh, Dusk Rose. So this is Pinker Bell. Such a beautiful color. This one leaves a tint, guys, and it's more on the matte side. Correct! Dusk Rose. I've been using these so much. You see these shades? These shades are so unique in terms of like lip tints. I don't really see lip tints being made in these colors. And these are exactly what I have been looking for in the local market for years that nobody gave us. I've been like begging. I've been begging and like silently nagpapalinig na ako si brands. Like you have to release shades like these. I told them. They wouldn't believe me. And now Vice Cosmetics did it. Thankfully they did because these have become staples in my routine lately. I'm wearing I'm wearing the shade Solace right now but I also love Pinker Bell and Dusk Rose. Even if you wipe them off, they will leave a stain. And even the stain they leave beautiful. Lasting power is so-so but I really don't mind reapplying my lips anyway. And then if you want like a dewier option or a natural finish option, love love the Issy Jelay in the shade Kink. I really like this one. Actually, let's apply because it's dry na yung lips ko a bit. So... Never shall again drying sa lips ko. Although this one, for me, it doesn't really provide me with the most dewy look. Like, see, parang natural lang siya. But I don't mind. I like that. I like that like natural look lang. Hindi naman siya sobrang dewy. Like, mas dewy siya sa hand ko kesa sa lips ko. Sa lips ko right now, it's leaning towards satin, natural. Color, the tint is still so pretty. Kapag gusto ko mas natural pa, I just wipe off the top layer. Then, the tint, the pretty tint is revealed. That is a tint, kink leaves. I really like the shade. Ayan siya. 
natural wearable tint great for everyday these sulipis are head to head some of the best releases right now and for sure na sale to sa 99 so if you guys want to try them out now is the perfect time to try them but yes guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoy nyo sana may napulot kayong one or two like mga beauty glow up beauty secrets kapal lang mukha nag beauty secrets si ating if you have questions drop them in the comment section below of course don't forget to follow me on my socials i'll try to do a demo by the way on my instagram account so don't forget to follow me there until then i will be seeing you guys on the next video love you Mwah.